Thank you very much, Vikram. Uh, I think I was particularly pleased to be able to have the opportunity to join this panel because uh, as a, coming from a development agency, USAID, uh, we see the engagement of business on these core development uh, challenges, um, energy, water, and food security is not only highly relevant and, and important, but really increasingly at the, at the center of what we're trying to uh, uh, accomplish. I mean, for a long time, we've all known growth really comes from the private sector. It's the engine uh, of job creation and of economic growth virtually in every, every country, but increasingly, uh, the private sector and businesses, companies are highly influential actors and drivers of uh, sustainable development uh, progress. And you see that empirically. Uh, I mean, just 30 years ago, um, flows of resources to the developing world and to uh, development concerns, 80% came from official sources, from donors and public, uh, public institutions. Um, that's now flipped, where 80% is coming from uh, private flows of capital. Um, you see it kind of in, in uh, rhetoric and in terms of uh, kind of uh, major thinking. You look at the World Economic Forum and Davos, the major news is not necessarily made by governments uh, or, by, or by foundations, but increasingly coming from uh, companies that are, that are interested in making sustainable uh, investments in, uh, in development. This, and it's not just a question of corporate social responsibility <laughs> as we see it. Uh, we're increasingly interested in kind of where we see uh, a uh, intersection of interest between a business's core strategic interests and in growth uh, or market uh, development and where that clearly intersects with our own uh, interests in, in human development. Uh, I mean, you, you innately can, can see those and have seen those examples. I mean, if you're a big ICT company, and you're interested uh, uh, in your next generation of clients, that clearly drives you to uh, an interest in technology and access to quality uh, education. Uh, looking at our themes, uh, particular themes today, you look at clean water, it's clearly in the interest of uh, beverage companies to have access to, to uh, clean water, uh, certainly food security and, and agribusiness concerns. I mean, that is a uh, a very important intersection of interest, which has, I think, led to some very important partnerships for us. Over the last uh, 12 years, uh, we have really put an emphasis on these kinds of public-private sector undertakings. We've entered into over a thousand of these alliances, not just with U.S. companies and multinationals, but also uh, with firms in the countries uh, where we're investing, where, where we're working. And we estimate uh, we've leveraged over 10 billion in private capital, specifically for uh, development kinds of uh, concerns. So, you know, obviously we're interested in the financial leveraging uh, process, but maybe even more importantly is kind of working with the private sector as a knowledge partner, access uh, and market knowledge, tech, new technologies, uh, networks, uh, all of that, distribution uh, services, all of that I think uh, offers incredible opportunities to really uh, improve our, uh, expand our impact uh, significantly. Um, kind of looking at India, where there's maybe uniquely a, a great opportunity to, to build on these kinds of public-private uh, undertakings because of the, the richness and the dynamism of the private sector here. Uh, we have really made this the center of our, of our new uh, approach here in, in India, where it means engaging with the, with the private sector and trying to tap into what has been for a while kind of a deep vein of philanthropic commitment on the part of a lot of companies here who have been investing in, you know, in uh, social uh, programs. Um, I I'll just give you a, a few small examples of, uh, of concretely how s some of that has played out uh, on our clean energy uh, program. Uh, we help support a partnership between a, uh, the Karnataka State uh, Public Utility and an energy services company that led to a 40% uh, energy savings through the installation of uh, much more efficient water pumps. Um, in agriculture, we see not only an opportunity to have better impact here in, in, in India, but in, in also taking Indian innovations, expertise, and models to have development impact in, in other parts of the, of the world, whether that's Afghanistan, Sub-Saharan Africa, or or uh, Asia, and in energy too, where I think there's a lot of uh, potential. We're looking at the formation of a, uh, a public-private alliance 
to, to help connect more people to the uh, power grid here in India. So I, I, you're looking at it kind of a, uh, a more global scale. You mentioned, uh, Asad uh, mentioned maybe one of the best examples of kind of multi-sector stakeholder commitment and the success that brought about in the HIV AIDS uh, arena. Here in India, clearly some of the amazing advances in development, whether it's uh, polio, the green revolution, uh, or access to education have really been a function of uh, the public and the private sector coming uh, together. So uh, we, we really see um, the public sector can't ignore the private sector, the private sector can't ignore government, and as a development agency, we cannot afford to ignore either, and we really see as kind of our core mission to try to serve as a bridge uh, between the sectors to have the kind of impact we're all aiming for. Thank you. Thank you very much.